India, with all her natural and populational diversities, has been witnessing a sea change in the lives of her people during recent times. New horizons of livelihood opportunities have enabled the larger mass residing outside of the urban periphery to join the mainstream socio-economic flow. Opportunities that have been generously provided by the new lifelines of India. An intricate network of modern, all-weather roads constructed under the Pradhan Mantri Gram Sadak Yojana. PMGSY, a flagship endeavor of the Ministry of Rural Development of India, is managed and technically supported by the National Rural Infrastructure Development Agency, an organization dedicated to building capacity and enhancing quality through training. The project was launched in the year 2000 by the Government of India to work jointly with the state governments in providing all-weather road connectivity to designated areas with population sizes of 500 plus in the plain areas and 250 plus in the northeastern and Himalayan regions. The initiative is a giant step towards realizing India's full human resource potential along a journey on these new lifelines connecting the remotest parts of the country to civil amenities like schools, hospitals and agricultural markets. This road ke nirmal hone se hamare vidyalay mein admission mein bahut hi fark pada hai. Jab se road ban gayi hai, hum log school time par pahunchte hain. Since the launch of PMGSY1 in 2000 till PMGSY3 launched in 2019 Rural infrastructure in India has been upgraded to unprecedented levels. Economic activities have increased considerably with the generation of employments in various forms, investments coming in and businesses growing in the rural sector, fueling the economy to reach new heights. This road ke banne se aaj sabhi yahan uchit abhikrita apne tractor se saman le ja kar ke in 2016, a special drive was undertaken for construction and upgradation of strategically important roads in the remotest locations inhabited primarily by India's indigenous people. More than 10,000 kilometers of road length has been sanctioned under this drive so far. Till the 31st of March 2022, a total length of around 7 lakh kilometers of all-weather road has been constructed. Achieving the full target of the whole project, the total expenditure incurred is Rs 2.77 lakh crores. This phenomenal empowerment of rural India has attracted the attention of the world. The World Bank in its report on the impact evaluation of PMGSY states that the project has improved accessibility in hilly areas and increased access to economic opportunities. When this road is made, tourists are directly taking their cars and taking their cars. When the tourists come, then our business is going to be a lot. The benefits of the resultant positive impact on human capital formation are being equally enjoyed by all sections of the population. The Niti Aayog has stated in one of its reports in 2020 that the scheme is well aligned with India's international objectives and is contributing immensely towards the nation's sustainable development goals. The selection of target areas for building and restoring roads has been done using the most scientific method by mapping the strategic points on the Geographic Information System or GIS. This mapping has ensured that the most eligible roads are included in the program to provide a boost to India's rural economy. The routine maintenance of PMGSY roads across the country has become more streamlined since 2020 after the introduction of EMAG. It is a GIS-based enterprise and an e-governance solution to aid and assist the officials and contractors in maintaining performance-based maintenance contracts PBMC of roads, assessing performances and making automated payments. Earlier, these records were kept manually and were often subjected to errors. EMARG has enabled evidence-based, error-free digital record keeping. The last couple of years have seen an expenditure of Rs 
1300 crores in road maintenance under e-marg a user friendly app meri sadak is helping citizens provide their feedback directly to the ministry so far about 1 and 1/2 lakh complaints have been lodged through the app almost 99% of which have already been resolved so far around 70000 kilometers of pmgsy roads have been constructed with non conventional and new materials technologies like fdr using cement and commercial chemical stabilizers like zydex terrazyme ant stable road road sem and many others have been used in the process other novel technologies like self filled concrete paneled cement concrete use of waste materials like slag fly ash waste plastic and cold mix technology have introduced locally available low cost and recycled materials to road construction fdr a full depth reclamation stands out among all of these as a new age construction technology it is primarily a road restoration technique full depth reclamation of an existing pavement is a rehabilitation method that involves recycling of an existing distressed bituminous surface and its underlying layers into a new base layer apart from mending a damaged pavement structure fdr can be adopted for upgradation and widening of existing roads without requiring any structural overlaying of base layers while designing for the same or higher order of traffic category The shortened construction schedules add to the cost effectiveness of the technology. Overall, FDR has great advantages in terms of saving time, energy, minimizing material consumption and cost reduction where pavement cost is high, transportation cost of aggregates is high and the quality of aggregate is not good. The self-filled concrete technology developed by IIT Kharagpur in India itself has enabled PMGSY to build and restore roads at a minimum cost and a minimum effect on the environment. The use of cold mix technology has drastically reduced the emission of greenhouse gases and the chances of workers meeting with accidents during construction too has been significantly minimized. The use of waste plastic results in less bitumen consumption and is beneficial to our environment as it recycles plastic waste. However, the introduction of these new and green technologies under PMGSY has led to a huge drop in carbon footprint and made the whole process of road construction faster and a lot more cost effective. With a view towards achieving an environmentally sustainable economy, PMGSY has envisaged a new technology vision. Now, a minimum 50% of the proposed roads will be constructed using these new and eco-friendly methods, and waste plastic will be used in constructing more than 70% of the total proposed road length. As for quality control, PMGSY envisages a three-tier quality control mechanism in order to ensure the strength and durability of these new lifelines of India. while continuing on a journey of fulfilling everyone's dreams dreams that would no longer be deterred by difficult roads even in the remotest corners of the country india today has also opened her arms towards the world for sharing these new and unique technologies that are being used for building rural roads and the invaluable experience gained in the process thanks to the pradhan mantri gram sadak yojana 